I'm looking at all the news we've got now. We haven't got enough to get to all of it in the time that we have left. I can name quite a few different topics, and you tell me which ones you want to talk about. So we've got CM Punk introducing yet another belt in A&W, but it's not an official one. Uh, we've got Jim Ross's current health issues. We've got Buff Bagwell. We have uh, a robbery at the CMLL box office. We have Matt Hardy versus Jim Cornette. We have Booker T versus Ryback. Of all those that I've mentioned, which ones would you like to talk about? Right now. Right now. Which one? What is Cornette saying? <clears throat> Matt Hardy versus Jim Cornette on Twitter. Further arguments have just been edited out for clarity. I can't read them all out. Anyway, Matt Hardy said, Dark Order versus the Elite was a fantastic match. It's nice to see Dark Order earn such a well-deserved spotlight, etc., uh, etc." Et um, uh, I got both- it. I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about... <laughs> okay. Just give, me the, just give me the top parts. Booker T versus Ryback. Okay, uh, apparently Booker T and Ryback have heat with each other for one reason or another, most likely because one of the participants is Ryback, and he's a human heat magnet. Now, uh, Ryback started saying that he wanted a Bellator-style cage match. Uh, I, I, they agreed to have a fight, and then Ryback started saying, well, actually, let's do it in like a cage match, and we'll have rules, and we'll do like one minute and stuff like that, and I want to get paid for it. And uh, Booker T would be the WWE representative, even though he's 58. And, you know, it would be WWE versus Ryback because Ryback hates WWE. Booker T, who is 58, as I've said, uh, said, no, let's just fight the next time we see each other at a convention or whatever. And then Booker T added yeah. that Ryback doesn't get invited to most of these big conventions because, quote, he sucks. So Ryback wants it to be himself versus WWE, essentially. Man. Booker T is right. Right back sucks. He just can't get around it. He just sucks. And he thought when he was up there, he got a little push. And then his push, I, I could see, you could see the push go away when he went up against John. I was there. The push went away when he went up against John Cena in that interview. Cena picked him apart. I was, I was actually embarrassed for him. I don't know if we can still get that pulled up, but I mean, Cena was brutal. I don't remember it. Tell Cena. me, tell me what happened. What did Cena say? Oh, he just, I forgot what he said, but it was not so much what he said, but I mean, whatever, uh, right back was coming back with wasn't landing at all. And Cena just dismissed him as almost like, and they were pushing him then. I don't, I don't know where I saw this, but it was, I'm sure it was on TV because they had the cameras there. And I mean, I heard it. I don't know if it aired, but oh my God. But anyway, whether it aired or not, I could tell that WWE didn't have a lot of plans for Mr. Ryback. Uh, it was, and a lot of guys were complaining about him and, you know, feed me more and, you know, they were trying to make Ryback like Goldberg. Mm-hmm. And he tried to get a match with Goldberg, too. Yeah, that was recently, yeah. 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 So I think Ryback, at this point, is trying to do anything that that would get attention on him. And he's trying to convince maybe somebody to finance a fight between him. And Can you imagine a fight with Ryback and Goldberg? Their work shoots, uh, their work matches suck. So imagine a, well, an actual fight couldn't be any worse. Mm -hmm. It'd go about the same amount of time. You know, most fights go about less than a minute. Yeah. Some of them go less than that. They go about 30 seconds, and that's it. See, most of my fights didn't ever go that long. My fights, really, they never timed them because I always tried to stay out of them. At any cost. I, I did that damn de-escalation shit mm-hmm. years ago. Ah, oh, man, don't feel like that. Yeah, let's, let's don't do this. Calm down. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Anything to get out of a an escalated fight is, is what I did. But uh, the Ryback and the Booker T thing, mm-hmm. it ain't going over. N- none, of, none of Ryback stuff is going anywhere. At all. With Booker T, he's 58. Ryback is 41, I think, last time I checked. 
Booker T is actual. I mean, God, he was in prison for years. You know, I'm sure he's been in a hundred fights. And you know, he supposedly beat up Batista, even though. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he God, did beat up Batista. Yeah, I mean that that story went around. WWE broke that story, in fact. Um, so, who do you feel, even though there's a 17 year age gap, will Ryback or win or Booker T? Booker, I think Booker would wipe the floor with him. Booker has he has street knowledge. And that street knowledge kept him alive through prison, through all this stuff. And you got to hand it to the guy. He's a, he's a, he's a survivor. And his start in life wasn't that good, but he has overcome everything and he's in a position he's in today. And I have respect for him. Don't agree with him all the time, but, but I don't know Ryback. I think Ryback's basically a, a weightlifter and weightlifters notoriously are out of shape as far as it comes to conditioning and breathing. They blow up. I've been in a lot of rings with guys and we were working. And after two minutes, they were huffing and puffing. And that's when they're dangerous because then they get, they get clumsy. So some of the guys, some matches I've had with some of these bodybuilders, I swear to God, once they get blown up, I've had easier street fights. I was, oh man, you were dragging them around and I would try to have them punch me. They'd knock the shit out of me. I said, fuck this. I, I, I really like to be in a tag match. Then I'd tag my partner. Then when he tried to tag me in, I was conveniently on the floor selling something. I didn't <laughs> want to get tagged back in. But yeah, I think Booker T would, would wipe the mat with uh, Mr. Goldberg. Uh, no. Now right when right. he when he hears this, he's gonna come back. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, said, you said Goldberg, but that, that's an that's, uh, easy mistake to make is Ryback. Oh, Ryback. I'm sorry. Uh, now, if Ryback comes at me and wants to have a match with me, shit, I'll take that match. I might <laughs> be I might be to beat him. So uh, let, let me let me give you a quote he said recently. Um, so this is, a, I think, a couple of weeks ago. And um, I don't even know what it's regarding. Booker T... I try to be nice, but F you. F busted open, busted open radio, apparently. F Mark Henry, who's generally like one of the nicest people in wrestling, as far as I can tell. F all the effing Marks. F everybody. F everybody that doesn't want to have a conversation. So F everybody who doesn't want to talk to Ryback. I know, what? I, hang on. I, I don't understand the whole conversation it. line. It's like, what, what do you mean? I've been talking shit about you, and now you don't want to talk about it with me. I don't get it. I don't get it either. What's he mad at Mark Henry for? I don't know. Maybe Mark said he sucked. Hey, the um, the actual let, seriously, the best shoots are the podcasters. Isn't it right? You and Ric Flair, yes. Booker T, oh. Ryback. This is the new feuding. No one gets yeah. hurt. We need to we need to start uh, an angle here and then take it to the ring. Mm. I mean, I can't now. But well, you're going to shove me I, in the ring, then, aren't you? <laughs> I could, I could, and but you'd beat me with mobility. You'd just run around and blow me up. Then I'd say, "Screw it!" Barely. 